Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. We have a new release from Creed, a new triple aged version of Absolute Aventus. Yes, the rumors did turn out to be true. We do have a new Absolute Aventus coming. So we're gonna be doing a side by side comparison. I have my bottle of my 2023 Absolute Aventus and a sample of the new 2024 triple aged batch. It's kind of a mouthful, a little bit of a tongue twister. We're gonna compare the differences if there are any and which one that I prefer. And also make sure to stay tuned to the end of the video if you're interested in a giveaway of some samples of the new triple aged batch. We always do a nice giveaway when there's a new Creed release. Thanks to my amazing sales associates at Creed. They always give me some extra samples to give away to you guys. So stay tuned to the end to learn how to enter. But we're gonna go ahead and start off talking about the 2023 Absolute Aventus. Creed blessed us with this new take, a more modern take on the Aventus DNA called Absolute Aventus. And in my opinion, it is probably the best Aventus ever. It's that classic Aventus that we all know and love, but made a little bit more new age and also way stronger. I really feel like this release was Creed's response to all of its customers, like criticisms and complaints about performance and they turned it into a completely beast mode fragrance. But it was released as a limited run and I do think that that is true. It did sell out of the boutiques and in a lot of department stores. You can still find it floating around online, but if you go into a store, they don't have it anymore. So Creed has now announced that it's bringing Absolute Aventus back in 2024. And the difference between this and like the regular Aventus is this is going to have more of an emphasis on grapefruit than pineapple. But the pineapple is still here. Don't listen to anyone that says this doesn't have pineapple because it definitely does. It's just not as much in the forefront of the scent, but it's combined with these amazing spices like cardamom and clove and nutmeg and a little bit of cinnamon too. With that classic, classic black currant note that really gives it that push of the original Aventus DNA along with that sprinkle of pineapple. It is more minimal here with that kind of musky birch base. And it has a ginger note added in here as well along with a little bit of rose. It is gorgeous. It truly, truly is. I have been singing the praises of this fragrance since it came out. I know that it's cool to hate on Creed, it's cool to hate on Aventus, but the fact is, I love this perfume and I highly recommend it. I think it's truly worth it. It's so sexy, it's masculine. This is a head turning scent and it's everything in terms of performance that you wanted Aventus to be. This lasts easily 12 plus hours and the scent trail is incredible. The projection is amazing. It's a very strong fragrance. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. So hot and attractive, but also extremely classy and elegant. It's an undeniable fragrance, but I wanted do the comparison to the new 2024 now just kind of give you a quick idea what the differences are because I know that I've seen some rumors saying that it's the same thing but I do find some subtle differences between these two scents so I'm gonna go ahead and spray the new 2024 here kind of baby my sample I'm already halfway gone so this fragrance opens different than the 2023 you're gonna notice a big difference right from the opening because this has even more of an emphasis on the grapefruit. Like I feel like in Absolute Aventus, the 2023, the grapefruit is there, but here it is like the center stage. It is almost like a sugary type of lemony grapefruit. There's something almost extra sweet, kind of candy-like about the citrus in the 2024 batch. The opening is so good. It pulls you in, it's kind of bubbly, a bit tart, and it does feel more dense. I think that it's definitely punchier than the 2023. This is more like a zesty tart type of opening and it feels even somehow louder than the 2023. So based off of my first impression, I do really like the opening of the new 2024, but I do prefer the 2023, the bottle that I have on this skin. That's kind of where the biggest differences start to come out is into the mid. I think that the new 
2024 version is just a bit too sharp going into the dry down like it is incredibly musky it has a much darker kind of emphasis on patchouli and vetiver than the 2023 i think that in the 2023 you get more of these spices i think that the 2023 is a little bit more balanced as it goes into the dry down you know you really discover new layers throughout the life of the scent versus this is really it's not it, it feels a bit more simple it's not linear at all but it feels a bit simpler like it's not as much of like a journey to get to the dry down as it is in the 2023 i like how the 2023 just tastes a bit creamier i love it just feels smoother more balanced more harmonious in my opinion but i do feel that the new 2024 actually holds more relation to the original Aventus DNA because it has more of that like emphasis on the fruity kind of tart citrus. You're going to get more pineapple too. I think that it's going to be closer. So it's still a great alternative, you know, like if you think that Aventus is too like quote unquote weak today in today's batches, it's more related to Aventus than the 2023 Absolute. It's a little bit more spicy. It takes a step in a different direction, especially because in the 2023, I'm telling you, it just really holds on to the spices in this scent. And the 2024 does not really do that for me. In the triple aged batch 2024, you're going to get more of an emphasis on the fruits. It is a slight difference between the two, but it is there. And honestly, out of the two, I do prefer the Absolute 2023, but you will really like the 2024 if you miss those like classic like golden day Aventus batches. I think that you're really gonna like the 2024. Both are really nice, but I just feel that the new version is a little bit too powerful for me, believe it or not. A little too punchy for me, which is insane to say because the 2023 is also incredibly powerful, but I do feel like the 2023 comes off a bit more elegant and sophisticated versus the 2024 feels a bit more sporty. And I also feel like the 2023 is going to be a bit better for the cooler weather. I mean, I think that the 2024 will work too, but I think that it just feels more like fall in 2023. Both of them have crazy crazy longevity and strength. I do not know what the price point is going to be on the new 2024. I do think that now they're starting to do pre-orders at Creed Boutiques, but I don't know what the price is going to be because it's not even released yet. So the best thing to do is just to get out to your local Creed Boutique, talk to your Creed sales associate and see what the price is. Maybe you can test it in store as well and get some samples too. I think that Absolute Aventus is a great option for the fall and winter, and I would reserve the original Aventus for spring and summer. I think it's a great release, but yeah, I have to say I do prefer the 2023 version more accessible and at the price you can find this i think it's worth it in my opinion it's my dream aventus it's so masculine it's so sexy but still very powerful it gives off the ceo vibes like a really masculine gentleman i love it but now let's talk about the giveaway i do have five samples of the new triple age batch to give away to you guys and here is how to enter it's the same rules as always usa only and i want to just put it out there beware of any scammers i will not say the winner in the comments down below i will not reach out to you trying to get your telegram or your credit card or anything like that you guys are my viewers are very smart people i know that you guys don't fall for that but i always have to say it beware of scammers i will only announce the winners on my community tab on my youtube channel so in order to enter all you have to do is of course if you subscribed to my channel follow me on instagram which will be linked in the description below and follow creed on instagram as well and this is the most important part guys because you would be so shocked i say this every single time i do a giveaway but there are still so many people that forget you have to comment done with your instagram handle at your instagram handle if you do not do this and you win your entry will not count this has happened to me Every single time that I do a giveaway, I pick a winner and they don't put their Instagram handle. So there's no way for me to reach them and I have to pick a new winner. So please make sure to leave your Instagram handle in your comment down below. Cause that is how I'm going to reach out to you to confirm you, that you won, you know, to confirm your address and everything. So that's my little rant. <laughs> Good luck everyone with your entry and the winners will be announced 
sometime on the weekend of October 4th. So the first weekend of October. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Please leave a comment down below. What do you think about this new triple aged Aventus? I would love to know what you think. Are you excited for it? Do you like absolute Aventus from 2023? I would love to know your thoughts. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you and I'll see you next time. Bye.